okay so we have an image but i want a bit more integration right now it's still kind of stand out to integration in real um, world what we need we need add actually blur and as example let's try this we have it another background go to filter blur and we'll do um blur for this and you can see we can increase and bring a little bit more subject out but at the same time i want to keep the details on a background so i don't want to lose this sharpness so other ways we can actually bring and kind of merge them by up applying global tunnel correction we'll do in a second and also add some light focusing on a background what i mean by light focusing for example right here is our object and we have some bright areas around let's add some small dust and kind of like almost gut rays going from behind so we'll create a new layer and we'll set black and white so we'll set here we'll go filter render and we're going to cloud render Okay, so let's go again filter render and this time we'll actually select different cloud and press Control F few times till you see the pattern kind of you like this this look nice and right here we look on an image it's about point right around here I want to create it lights going to erase for this filter and we'll go to blur and we'll go to the radial blur let's uh, keep it on a zoom 100% best and we'll move right around here maybe so it will be about face position somewhere around this area okay let's take a second to apply it and next um, so you can see we have it kind of lights going now let's switch this to the soft light and you can see we have it all these lines kind of applied you can try switch to the screen and work with opacity as well if you want it this way okay but for this one i'll just keep it on soft light and right here you can see we have it darkened so it's kind of bring a little bit more attention to our subject we can also a little bit adjustment okay next we have a darker and we'll add border a little bit later um so this is already kind of matching next i want to actually start merging these layers and work overall so we'll press Control shift alt e and we're merging all of this um it's have a different plugins you can use it and they're actually very useful uh, right now what i want to do is start working on a gringing and add more details to overall this scenery okay let's do this way um we'll duplicate this layer to add Gringy, we'll go to image adjustment and we'll switch to black and white. Okay, and black and white, I want to pop up red all the way, kind of like almost up. Okay, let's bring blue another one slightly down. I'm also look at magneto, we'll click OK for this. Um, next, I want to go filter, blur, and we'll do blur and I'll just set maybe slightly about three for that one and then next we'll can switch this to the soft lights so right here you can see how we add some effect wash out a little bit grinchy it's possibly a bit too strong so we can reduce or apply to specific areas like for example we can go create um, layer press ctrl I so we don't have it any effect switch to the brush white okay we have it about 13 opacity increase size and just overall kind of applying from the center so kind of you can see we start right here some details kind of almost losing but same time we have it color effect okay you always can go ahead and if you want to try to reverse this and maybe do on opposite have it more details on our subject and a little bit more gringy effect going from the center okay so in this case we'll keep it more details maybe on a face and right here we have it some um, 
doesn't look very uh, smooth we can rework this by applying smooth round details or another ways you know we can always just have say go with the Grinch and just take some of this away details okay, so let me can see how we can start already applying okay, let's go next control shift E another one next what I want to do is actually apply um, a little bit more color by using filter forge okay, we'll go right here we'll use the filter forge for this and I like use those plugins they helping me to have it overall kind of tunnel um, going to tone that I'm going after so I think I like this one we'll go to settings and just slightly modifying okay, let me see on a black level right here a little bit darker kind of more illustrative almost look I think this is good. We'll go apply. Okay, here's our filter applied, and again, we can just start merging them. See between because I'm not necessarily like this color because we're losing some very nice, but I do like overall enhancement in a tunnel range. So, work with cyan a little bit more closer. Okay, to this area. Um, we're almost done. That next, what I want to do is just add probably frame to this. Let's try uh, to do this. We'll go to the curves. Okay, we'll go all the way to the black area. Okay, let's select a rectangle. And I'm actually going to select a little bit smaller on the top. Okay, we'll apply this way. Black color will fill middle. And next, by using masking for this and the feathering, so we can add border and switch to the soft light again. Okay, right here, you can see we can add some very gentle, a little bit more focusing towards the face. Okay, so right here, we have our image, and again. Um, because we work with quite a bit high resolution so right here's our native so it's um, we still have a lot of details the next I want to add a little bit more details a little bit sharpener this image and we'll do this um, in a few different ways again a control shift alt e to create a layer and we'll go duplicate it okay group it together this is will be our internal details we'll go switch to overlay and we'll select just this first layer and switch to vivid light press ctrl i to inverse filter blur and we'll use surface blur so what it does it will add a little bit more details to us okay, let's see if we can is kind of more surrealistic and I'm just looking for overall details and again with the masking we will remove some because I don't like how they bring this to the face but I do like overall look so we'll click OK right here select on the group add a mask and we'll take brush too and right here we'll go to brush out some of those details from here yeah, I want smoother face. Let me pop up a little bit higher. Okay, so we'll remove. 
but we still have nice details kind of and maybe a little bit too much details on our sleeves okay let me go closer okay and right here in the hair actually I want two more details so we'll switch and just add Zoom out and see. Um, just bring like right here. Okay, another layer. And on this one, actually, I want to do overlay, and we'll go to filter, other high pass, and we can add um, effect, different effect to this. Again, same. We can go very extreme but normal just sharpen edge probably about one or a little bit more pixels for this will do okay let's go closer to see you can see how this increase slightly for us a little bit contrast in this area again because we are in quite a bit high resolution with this image that is creating so right here we have it, our image um, created we can a little bit more work maybe on a border but again I like it how we match with the tunnel corrections we also integrated well our model inside background with the lighting and modify creating this kind of gringy Victorian look okay, so thank you for watching this tutorial from Geeker Play Studio and please remember visit us on the web is www.geekatplay.com